single moms are out to get you. Now, I know in Midtown, the topic of single moms has been talked about a lot, but I wanted to put, a, you know, my own little unique twist on it. And um, I wanted to talk about how they start off being not manipulative and how they become manipulative and, you know, the causes. And, uh, and I want to let you know what's going on in their minds so that you have a better understanding of why they're doing what they're doing. So, you know, maybe it doesn't catch you off guard or so that you don't take it personally uh, in the ways that they manipulate. So I'll just get right into it. So single moms, right? Before they have kids, you know, when they're still young, when they still don't have any kids, when they still have all of their, you know, uh, social market value or whatever, you know, they're attractive, they're young, they're child free, and they're just, you know, in their prime. Um, when they're talking to guys, it's because they are genuinely into that guy, right? They don't feel like they have to compensate for anything. They don't feel like they're lacking anything. So if they're dealing with a guy, they're most likely genuinely into him. Like a woman who's under 25 who doesn't have any kids. And I'll get into another video how you don't trust women over 25, um, especially if they have kids. Um, but you also don't trust women under 25 that have kids either. You only trust women under 25 that do not have kids <laughs> and even then you always keep your third eye open you know what i'm saying but anyways so you know you have that young girl maybe she's 19 right she meets a guy um and you know she really likes him she likes him for him and you know they start dating and they start having sex now he's not really into her one thing leads to another you know he ends up getting her pregnant right now she's pregnant and she's like, hey, I want you to step up and help me raise this kid. But guess what? You know, you weren't married to him. So he doesn't really feel like he has to do that for you. And to be honest, he doesn't. If you get pregnant by a guy that you're not even married to, it's not his obligation to raise that kid with you. Like straight up, he can't just become in love with you and, and want to be like a husband now. That's that's not how that works. That's why you, you know, if you really want to if you really want the truth, you're supposed to wait till marriage to sleep with a guy. That way, you know, things like this don't happen, right? So anyways, so now she has a kid, right? Now that guy is gone. Now she's getting a little bit older, you know, a couple of years are going by. Let's say she's 23 now, right? And uh, this is from experience. If you guys uh, watch my um, A Girl Named Jasmine video, she was a single mom. And here's the thing. So now they know in the back of their mind, the clock is ticking, right? Not only do they have the biological clock that they're getting older, now they have a kid, right? And they don't have the family unit. They do not have a husband. Now, <laughs> the only thing worse than being a woman who's trying to find that husband before the clock runs out is being a woman with a kid who's trying to find that husband before the clock runs out. Because now your, your, your social value has taken a tremendous blow. It's like a Mercedes that's been um, rebuilt, right? It's like a salvage title. It's been in a wreck that was so bad they had to like rebuild the car. It's never the same. It rattles. It makes weird noises. It's not the same, right? Now, no alpha male who's single, who's on top of his game, who has a lot of money and who's just a boss, you know, he's just like James Bond. Not a single one of those men is going to go for them because they have a two-ton anchor on their leg, meaning uh, a child from another man. Plus, there's a bit of a slime factor, you know, when another man has uh, ejaculated inside of her and created his own copy of himself that she then pushed out of her vagina. There's just a certain level of disgust, you know, as men that comes along with that. So now her only two options are the same, you know, players that are going to pump and dump her, right? Or it's the boring beta male, that is going to commit to her, but she's not really into him. She can never love him because he's just not, you know, he's just not the man. You know, she wants the man, right? You guys know who the man is. You know, it's just, he's, it, she wants like Denzel Washington. You know, she wants like Pierce Brosnan. She wants the man, but the man is not going to go for her anymore because she has a kid, right? Now, you might be an up and coming version of the man. Like I was when I was met Jasmine, I was 19. She was 20 going on 21. Women know that an up-and-coming version of the man is going to be a little more susceptible to falling for her tricks because he's not he's he's wet behind the ears, you know, he's still a puppy. He's not a he's not a bulldog yet, you know, he's not a doberman yet. He's still, you know, a pup, right? So he's going to be able like I was. I was able to fall for some of her tricks and believe that, you know, th and here's the thing. I'm not saying they don't have genuine love for you, right? They do, but their 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 needs and their their fear 
and their manipulation are going to overpower the love they have for you because they need to know they're going to be taken care of, right? So they might have love for you. I know for a fact Jasmine had love for me, but guess what? Like Tupac said, fear is stronger than love, especially for women, right? So her, her manipulation and her fear overtook her and they start making outrageous demands. You know, they're going to love you for the first month or two. They're going to make you think they're better than any other woman, but they're not. They just have an agenda. They know they are in a race against the clock, you know, mission impossible situation. So they're going to front load all of that love. They're going to up in your face, give you all that good sex, all that good love, all that attention. You know, you're such a great man. You're so amazing. You're so funny, yada, yada. Now they might actually mean it. They might actually mean some of it, you know, but it doesn't matter because they are manipulating because they have to, they have to get this. They want the family unit. You know, having kids isn't enough for a woman. They want a husband to lean on, right? So it's, it, it you can never trust a single mother, um, because they're, they're, they all have an agenda because they've already made a colossal mistake, right? Now, here's the thing, right? A, a, a relationship built on manipulation will never last. And women don't understand this, so they screw themselves. Even if you get the man of your dreams, right, through manipulation, you're a single mom, somehow you trick James Bond into marrying you. By some stretch of the imagination, you pull it off, right? Um, guess what? It's not going to last because deep down she knows she had to manipulate to get him and she's going to lose respect for him and he'll probably figure it out eventually that he's been manipulated too and they're going to start fighting a lot and he's going to leave you anyway or you're going to hate him, you know, and leave him, you know, so it's, it's never going to last. Anything built on manipulation is never going to last. You know, trust and love cannot live in the same space as manipulation and lies. And um, that's actually a line from August Marx in the show Sons of Anarchy. He says, uh, I th it's not an exact quote, but I believe he says something like, um, you know, trust and like love or, some, or, or something cannot live in the same space as like lies and manipulation. And it's the same thing with women. The reason why your relationship with a single mother will never last is because it's already built on manipulation. The foundation is already messed up, right? Because she has an agenda. So, because she had a kid, so now she, she's at the fire under her, you know, forcing her to, to do something at, at, at a accelerated rate. It's just not natural. None of it flows naturally. You, you, you can't even build the love. You can't even build those good memories, you know, that honeymoon period. You can't even do any of that because she's in a race against the clock, right? So... Even if it even if it works out for a little while, it's never going to last. Even if you're dumb enough to sign that marriage contract and commit to them, it's never going to last. You know, it's just there's just things that are going to happen that are going to derail it. Um, I'm trying to like think of some examples like like, you know, she'll just start having outrageous demands. You know, because she needs to get like she needs to get herself into the position she wants to be in, you know, before she hits 30 and hits the wall. Um, so that's, that's really why you can never trust a single mother. And I'm not saying you can trust women that aren't single mothers. I'm just saying you especially do not want to trust a single mother. And it's sad because it kind of puts, puts you in a situation where you have to manipulate them because let's say, you know, you want to have sex with one, you find them attractive and you can't tell them up front, look, I don't want to be like, uh, I don't want to be like your kid's dad. I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to commit to you because you have a kid. You have to kind of pretend, oh, yeah, okay, you know, whatever. Let's just see what happens. And then you're having sex with them. And then they're going to pull the bait and switch on you and say, all right, now it's time for you to man up. And this is why a lot of them end up getting pumped and dumped. Um, you know, I think men would have more respect for women if they just said on day one, like, look, this is where I'm at. This is what I need. Can you handle that? But a lot of them don't. They'll Or they'll say it in a rude way you know, which is not cool either. But a lot of them won't even say, look, this is what I need. I need a man. Like I need, like I messed up, but I'm really looking for someone serious. And, you know, I, I really hope that that can be you. They don't do that. They'll throw that love in your face. They'll throw all the sex at you right away. And then they'll try to bait and switch you. And that's why a lot of them end up getting pumped and dumped because guys aren't as dumb as women think we are. And we're like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to be the daddy now. You know, no, I already got that. Now I already have been inside you. I know what it feels like. It's not so bad if I have to cut you off now. You know, I, I can say that I've conquered you. I've experienced you. You know, I can add another check onto my, you know, lays onto like my list of women I've, I've gotten laid with. And women don't understand that, you know, 
men can walk away a lot easier after they've had sex with you because we, we, we still kind of like view it as a victory, even if, you know, we don't ever see you again or whatever. So, you know, that's really why, um, why single mothers are out to get you. 